Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Eternity, The Last Unicorn. Which, as I understand it, is about a unicorn? I'm trying to see if there's uh, subtitles, as I always do. Uh, V-Sync, no. Full screen, yes. Everything, I'm sure my graphics are fine. There are, there are hard-coded subtitles, or are there are no subtitles at all. Let's find out. Aww. Do they expect me to be using a PS4 controller, or do they honestly mean that the X button is skip? That's not important, I was just curious. Taking a sweet time to get to this storybook game. The seven-pointed star? Uh-oh. That often causes problems. A long, long time ago, when the first elves reached the world of Alfheim, that means Elfheim, a heavenly and glorious power fell upon them. The holy goddess Maria, creator and guardian of nature, handed them four sacred unicorns. These ancient legendary beings brought purity and balance to the elves, turning them into immortals. This incredible, unimaginable power was passed on from one generation to the next, making every new life an immortal life. One night, the unicorn suddenly disappeared. It was thought to be witchcraft, and for the first time, the elves feared for their immortality. As the Oh, damn it, I probably should have read that faster. However, perhaps by a twist of fate, one of the unicorns survived. The fairies found him. He had been cursed and has a broken horn. The elves, fearful of this curse, handed him over to a young elf who, according to the ancient scrolls, was the only one capable of restoring the power of that very last unicorn. And hopefully finding out what happened to the other ones. Spoiler alert, they were eaten by goblins. And this is how the pursuit of eternity began. Okay. Okay. There was once a gory battle in which King Os Oslav ran away towards the mountains of Fendiror after witnessing the massacre of his army. Adrift, he found a colossal image of a desolate goddess. Uh, have him gravely injured. Do, 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 do. He and the king for their spend march. Jotunheim. Oh, so it's all themed around uh, Norse mythology. Gotcha. All right, let's do it. Okay. Weird camera angle, but it's fine. No, it's supposed to be the world tree, Agardazil. We just talked about that. What's with these uh, glowing bodies? You're not going to tell me, are you? Hey, it's my unicorn buddy. So anyway, I'm stuck in the glowing body. Maybe I can do like a combo or a dive roll to get me away from it, or... Okay, literally 20 seconds into the game, I got stuck on a glowing body and I can't move. That was not ideal. Is that glitch repeatable? Let's find out together. Hey, glowing body, you want to say something to me? Uh, nope. It's not repeatable. So it was just a fluke. It happens. Oh, my poor unicorn. How you doing, buddy? You're obviously not pleased. Okay. Oh. That's true. Okay. Okay. 
use the light flask. Gotcha. How do I use the light flask? We got a trophy for picking it up. It must be of some consequence. Hey, look, it's that guy! Oh, I just hadn't learned how to interact with him yet. Gotcha. Collect red crystals. Sorry, red crystal shards to buy new items and upgrade your weapons. Green... Okay. So, you know, basically, uh... Onimusha rules. I'm fine with that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's my reflection. I thought someone was... Stalking me from above. Wouldn't it be hilarious if there was no combat in the game? And you were just... RT? This is actually weirdly close to Onimusha. When this button... In oh, instant kill. Nice. Ah! Okay, let's do this. That was a pretty badass attack. Interact with them to pick them up. Nice! I will open the inventory. Okay, quick slot. Okay. And now I can just use that immediately. Well, I'm not going to use the battle rune right now. I'm not in a fight. I'm not crazy. Alright, I'll use it. You owe me, game. Well, I think chest opening might be broken. Alright then. Good to know. It is weird that someone was like, you know what we should do? Make a new Onimusha game. You know, static camera sword fighting. People like static camera sword fighting, right? It's a popular genre that hasn't completely fallen out of favor. Yes, give me your souls, demon. I will consume them for my evil will. Thank you. Oh, I can go down there and check on a boat. Oh, I love magical water. Or do I? I do. No point in making that a thing. I will. Ow. move no, no oh no more of them ow okay I got killed by some monsters well I went down hard yeah I'll go down to the last checkpoint that's fine <laughs> like it's so weird I just played Onimusha and my response to Onimusha was huh this hasn't aged well and now, a brand new game is coming out that is basically the exact same game as new Onimusha. From a control standpoint, obviously. But, you know, weirdly similar. Yeah, it's got more moving cameras, but very limited moving cameras. Ow! So, how did they want me to switch targets? being very dumb. Yes. Okay. Tell you? No, I don't. Someone's already gone. Well, then there you go. 
Okay, let me just try this again. Okay. Stop being shocked. I'm sure it did. That's why I told you to stop being shocked. Okay, seriously, let's go back to the tutorial and find out how I'm supposed to switch targets. Oh, left trigger, okay. Actually, yeah, that worked fine. Well, that was embarrassing. Whew! One more time, huh? One thing uh, that you can say about... Uh, one thing you can say about Onimusha is your beginning enemies at least move a little slowly and don't attack constantly so you have time how to learn the game. Uh, time in which you can learn the game. This game, they're like, no, we're just throwing you in the deep end. Enjoy. And then later you find out, no, that wasn't the deep end at all. It gets so much worse. What's going on up here? Oh, item key, item craft material. There's crafting? Sure, why not? All right. Let's do this. Ow! That's right. I love her finishing move on go. See, this is the part I have pr trouble with. Ow! Getting locked into these really long uh, animations. Okay! I finally succeeded in killing somebody. Yay? Uses a craft material. Nice. Oh, those are called spider mushrooms. That is accurate. They do look like spiders, but are also mushrooms. I'll come back to you in a minute. Don't worry. So I have to go find the lunar emblem to unlock the magic path? That sounds like something I would do. So you didn't get me any more health, huh? Sorry, buddy. At least I don't have a stamina bar, I'll say that. So many parts of spiders. Come on, give me some health. The answer was no, we don't want... Oh, yes! I would love to learn more about Elros Alcalern. The Spurpion was the best. Whoa! Like, do you get one of the headliners for Blue's sure. Fest this year? Go. Blue's Fest? Oh, I'm sad now. Ow. Well, in the sense that the, uh... That all rock and roll is an outgrowth of the blues, you can say that every rock and roll band is, uh in a way, a blues band. What's that? You can't say that at all? Oh, okay. I guess I was wrong. Oh, good. They're starting me back at the beginning. Exactly what I was hoping for. I'm being sarcastic, of course. The game has weirdly frustrating combat and zero uh, checkpoints other than when you first enter a level, it would seem. See, it's kind of unfair to make me do a, uh, a like, it to when I'm doing an execution, make it so they can then, like, queue up to hit me the moment my execution is over. Just as a general rule, it should, uh, you should make it so when I'm doing an execution, all of the other characters should be standing around watching how unpleasant that execution is. It's just like a given. 
It's not as bad as the game where uh, <laughs> there was a timed level and executions took up time. So it's like these, uh, you can only kill monsters by, most of the time, like, doing executions. But it would take, you could do, get them down to something like half health. You would do an execution, but that would take off like 30-40% of their health, so it was obviously the right thing to do. But it took slightly longer than just punching them over and over again. And so as a consequence in this timed area, if you tried to use executions on all the giant monsters you were fighting, you would not win the area. It was a disaster. Do you know what game that happened in? Be the first commenter below the video to mention it, and you'll win the prize. Just drop it in the comment section along with the time code for when the video I asked the question. And the answer, and boom, prize is yours. I've actually accidentally uh, killed cops in Party Hard 2. I did like, um, I think I electrocuted them with one of the traps. That's right, I saw you coming. It's weird, one of the, uh, one of the regular enemies of Inonimusha is a lizard who does that exact same kind of uh, diving rolling attack. What? That's hilarious. No, but it is awesome. So, so, can you tell, can you tell everybody what the best thing ever is? It's a uh, chocolate bunny, but... I have to put it together, because it's from Ikea, and it's real! How That's a joke! Pretty funny. Well, it is, it is a, a joke. joke. No, it's obviously it's a, a joke. Product, but, but it's a thing that they actually Ikea. sell. And that is how you're supposed to defeat them. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this game, unlike... Uh, as far as I can tell, unlike Onimushi, you don't have Isen attacks to instantly kill dudes. Sorry, pal. It's kind of weird that I have to re-add the herbs every time. I guess if I ever get more than one herb, they will just sit in my inventory. And what is this? You can have only one health herb in your quick use at a time. That's frustrating. I feel like he shouldn't be able to turn around in midair once he's already started his spinning attack. It seems unfair to me. Oh, nice. He's good. Damn, though. Sure, how do you do it? Always remember to save the game and check one of the if you don't use a bonfire before turn off the game. Okay. Well, you tried to teach me how to use a bonfire, then you attacked me with eight more guys. That's an exaggeration. So, you know, maybe just let me use the bonfire next time? Boom. Tell me I can level the sword up soon, because I'm hitting these guys a loot. Bonfire. Well, at least I don't have ink ribbons. Hey, can this chest be opened? Okay, it was just the one in the tutorial you couldn't open. That's something. So how many fragments do I have? What's this? Snowmobile. Nice. That's the 401. Today? Today? Oof. Stay off the 401, yeah, people. Not here, it isn't. <sighs> what happened now? Good. Alright. Hey, who's this crazy character? Alright, I go get you some water. I remember there was some magic water at the beginning of the level, and then I just picked up a flask, so obviously I'm supposed to go get some for you. Really making it sound like I'm put out. It's not actually that much of a hassle. <laughs> Boom. Oh, good. Respawning enemies. Exactly what I was hoping for. I saw. Did you see the one with her with the raccoon? Yeah. On her there we go. We got this. 
Seriously, respawning enemies, guys? This is just not the way to do this. Oh my god, they followed me all the way here. That is crazy. It is crazy that the Sonic the Hedgehog looks so bizarrely ugly. What were they thinking there? Look ridiculous, poison turtle. Thank you. I seriously thought you were dead. Hey, I'm level two. What does that mean? Do I have a skill tree or something? Or oh. Damn. A colossal creature. Okay. Oh. Well, that was sweet. Let's go give this guy some water. Hopefully, it wasn't a trap, and I've just set Hitler free. Pause that for later. Okay. Oh. Okay. Damn. Is it God forsaken or God's forgotten? Ha ha! Thank you. I'll see you later, weirdo. Of all of the things to make a kind of, like, stylistic ripoff of, though. Onimusha. So weird. Hey, what is that? Oh, that's my flask for... Oh my god, and in an Onimusha, you also hold down your gauntlet button to pull in souls when you've killed dudes. Like, this is weird how close it is. Oh, is it locked? There might be locked chests that I need keys for, right? That's what's happening? It's not a glitch? Hey, weirdo. What's going on with you? Zenogb. Excuse me. All right. What have you got for me, Zenal Gubba Gubba? Ooh. Nope. 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 I don't need any of that. Wow. My stuff is worth nothing. So his Agardazil leaves are worth 62, but if I want to sell them to him, they're worth 5. That means he has marked them up 1,200%, which is madness, even for a store run by monsters in the middle of a haunted forest. It's not like they started making this game, like, a month ago when they heard that Onimusha was going to be coming out on systems. Like, someone had to a while before this came out, like, uh, sorry, a while before Onimusha was announced, be like, we've got to make a game that's just like Onimusha, that game that no one remembers happened. So they did. 
and this is the result. But then before this came out, <laughs> Onimusha was re-released. This is so strange. Okay. Yellow magic roots. I guess I thought based on the title this would be a horsey adventure game. You know that popular genre, the horsey adventures? Nice. Oh, look! This guy can heal his fellow goblins. Except now he's going to be too dead to do that. It's nice to know that they are mixing up goblin-wise. I also like that there are finishing moves, even if they don't look great. Uh-oh. No, it's an ant. Those guys are the best. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's an ant that's also a uh, minot not minotaur, Jesus, a centaur. Hey, buddy. craft items okay so in order to craft a healing herb you can use a tortoise shell okay all right Oh, so I have all of the pieces I need to do the Lord's Emblem. That's good. Apparently farming all of those uh, monster parts was a good idea. Is that it for crafting? Oh, now I can just do regular items. Those are the items I had to craft. I get it. Okay. Ooh, no, can't craft anything really. Mysterious Eyes of a God. Is that another plot-related one? Maybe the plot-related ones are all 100% success rates? Oh, sorry. Monsters, Trunk Tortoise. Oh, yeah, they tell you what they drop. Wow, goblins drop a lot, huh? Nice. That's not a terrible system. So where do I use these symbols? Here on this thing beside it? No, that was a chest. Hundred percent, he's not. Buddy Cole showed a Canada. It is weird that he hasn't yet. Well, he would have been out there right now. So. That's true. By the way, that's Dave Foley with. Me. Good. Uh, I don't need any of that. Oh wait, what was that? A bandage. Ew. You're disgusting, weirdo. And this chest. Are we still not able to open that? I need lock picks or something. That's right, you can have multiple save slots. I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem like a game with a lot of choices that you can make the wrong one. And Although I guess you could have a very bad boss fight and lose all of your healing items and want to go back and uh, try that again. So Maybe, I, I could see that. So am I supposed to use these Lord's things? Uh, nope, map. Well, that's not helpful. 
Although I've learned that there are eight maps in the game. That's not it. Do they go back at the temple? Hey, Ibana. So baffling to me. Oh, right. I totally forgot about this. Oh, man. This game, uh... I noticed that. I'm the one who ceased it. We went to Jotundrir! Yay! Jotundrir? Is that... Jotundrir. Right, yes. Boom. All right. What is next, pray tell, here in Jotundir? Spiders! Ow! Poison spiders. All right, so let's just use that antidote. Problem solved. Here's the bigger issue, though. You said that I leveled up. What does that mean? So I don't have, like, points or anything? No. Okay. Critical attack chance to next level 922. Complete the medallion to increase your health bar. Wow. So there's a bunch of stuff you have to do. This is uh, Eternity, the last unicorn, which is about what I just said. Okay, come on. Finishing move. Why am I not going to do finishing moves on anything with goblins? Nice. Almost got stuck in a wall again there. That would have been bad. And suddenly we're on a ramp. Nope. Yes, I wanted to, but then my stats don't really seem to be doing much. Craft chance potion. Okay, but how do I raise my stats? Is it just by kill, like leveling up? Or, or what? Uh-oh, more spiders. More poison spiders. Ah, you dick! Well, at least he dropped a mistletoe, so, you know. No harm, no foul, but that's annoying. Okay, that was cute. They did the Resident Evil monster in the foreground deal. That's a nice touch. Alright, now what's this? Cool! Hey, monsters, monsters, monsters. Where are you hiding? Wow, that is a lot of monsters. Sorry, pal. I actually finally got to do a finishing move on somebody else, for once. Nice. Oh, wow, they have reinforcements. Including more death spiders. Fantastic. Yeah, as I was saying, it is a, uh, a modern take on Onimusha. Which is kind of weird, since Onimusha just did a not modern take on Onimusha this year. Ow. Well, not a modern take, a remake. But they updated the movement, so it was kind of a modern take in its own way. Okay, so there was no save point. We're not going to go do all that again now. I'm not a psychopath. But uh, this will be a perfect time to take a break. I've been Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time, you'd like to see more of those buttons for that. Coming up, questions, suggestions, quiz entries. Oh, their bodies explode. Go in the comments section below the video. 
I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. And if you're curious about what happens next in the world of The Last Unicorn, Eternity, the final unicorn, check the next item on the playlist. Uh, but until... Th I'll see you there. But until then, au revoir.